It gives you three zero parallax floating dots that you're going to side in that recognize any form inconsistency that the shooter is going to have, and, and it's going to give them to them instantly in any kind of hunting situation. So the, the pluses there are, are, are far outweighed by any any initial shock that they have when they see the when they see the sight. We've had people ask, "Well, can I keep my peep in?" Um, because they're comfortable with it, they don't like looking, that's fine. There's no problem at all. Um, and in fact, it gives them an extra point of reference so it'll make them that much more precise. If you get a guy that has a um, left eye dominance issue, if you sight him in and make him close his left eye while he's sighting it in, okay, do exactly what we've talked about, but while he's sighting it, I don't care if he has to put a patch over it, close his left eye, get him sighted in, then he can shoot both eyes open with this sight and not have any issues. It easily mounts to the bow. We're going to take this thing and slip it around the riser. You can see how this main beam just kind of wraps around this riser here. You might have to, on certain riser designs, you might have to use what we call the front gang adjustments to loosen one of these bolts, slide this whole adjustment over so that this clears right back here and clears around the riser. That's about the most difficult part of mounting it on the riser, which is really nothing. Tighten it down just like any other side. There's basically a three-step process to siding this side in. First step, just like any traditional sight, you are going to sight your arrow's impact to the tip of this triangle that's in the lens. If your shot goes to the left, you're going to loosen this, this front gang adjustment here, and you're going to move this sight to the left and track their point of impact so that it moves their, their arrow or the left, just like a traditional sight. Um, same thing, if, if the shot goes down, you're going to loosen this, this bolt here for the front gang adjustment, and drop the sight down so that it brings their arrow impact up to the, to the point. That simple. You want the shooter impacting consistently at the tip of the triangle at whatever they want their first yardage point to be. So if that's 20 yards, which is most typical, you're going to have them in there. They're going to be impacting at 20 yards right at the tip of the triangle. Everything feels good before they ever look at the dots. Step one does not involve the dots. We don't want, if they can't see the dots, we don't care. If the dots are right in the middle, we don't care. A lot of times, if you got a guy that just can't get over, because it's going to blow their mind, a lot of times they're going to see dots floating around, they're going to want to look at them, put a piece of black electrical tape over there so they don't, so they don't see it. Um, regardless, step one, all you're doing is getting the arrow going to the tip of the chart. Step two, very simple. Once they have that and they're properly anchored, and you don't want them to be wore out at this point. If you've got a customer that's new to it and it took him 20 shots because he's kind of inconsistent to get it impacting the tip of the triangle, let him take a rest or something if you can because it's very critical that they're fresh when you go to step two. Because step two, we're going to align proper anchor point, proper hand form, and everything like that with the floating dots. So at that point, you're going to move, you're going to totally move away from the, what we call the front gang adjustments. You're going to go to the, the rear projection housing, as we call it in the instructions. There's, there's two adjustments back there. One is this side, micro adjust side to side bolt that's right here. It's got a lock nut in the back. You leave the lock nut alone. That's just to keep everything tight. All you're going to be adjusting is moving this bolt uh, clockwise and counterclockwise to move this whole housing side to side. Move the dots left and right in the lens. To do that first, you're going to want to loosen these two set screws that hold this rear projection housing down firm. So you loosen those, and if the shooter, you, draw, you have them draw back, Say, okay, where are the dots? And he's going to set it to the left. Okay, so you loosen these two set screws and you loosen this bolt so that the housing moves to the right in the lens. And you just do that until when he's at a comfortable anchor, that top dot is just centered up perfectly with the tip of that triangle. Now, usually he's, you're going to draw back and he's going to say it's a little high or it's a little low. Okay, the vertical adjustments are here on the sides of this rear projection housing. You have your top pin adjustment here, your bottom pin adjustment here and your middle pin adjustment is staggered on the other side. And when you're doing the top dot, get the other two out of the way and work with just his top dot to get him, to get him adjusted. And this adjusts just like any traditional sight. These, these, these little, there's little pins in there, they're held in a rack. You loosen this little bolt, move it up and down until when he's a comfortable anchor, that dot is perfectly aligned with the tip of the trier. So it's gonna take him drawing back. And what we usually have him do is draw back and then go ahead and fire afterwards so that they don't they're not letting down because letting it down seems to wear people out a lot more. So draw back and until and then you will eventually get him and it really doesn't take that long if they're consistent. Just form. kind of narrowing the gap as you do. You're gonna get him so that that top knot is perfectly aligned when he's properly anchored with the tip of that triangle. Then that top knot becomes his aiming point. Then you're sighted in. 
everything's done. So every time he draws back, you got you know you express to him, listen, bud, put the top dot at the tip of the triangle, take the shot. Perfect form all the time. You can get to a situation where guys at full draw and you've got this thing pushed all the way over and he still can't get the dots to the tip of the triangle. He can see, yeah, he can see them, but he just can't center it in. They won't. You'll be out of adjustment here on getting them centered in the lens. We have a shim. It's a precision CNC black shim we sell on our website for like five dollars, and it goes between this uh, this mount and your riser, and it's thicker in the back and skinnier in the front, and it cants the above the, the sight like this, and precisely realigns it with his focal planes. It'll it'll work every time. Then the, the third step is adjusting the second and third dot. And that's real simple. It's just basically a vertical adjustment after that. He gets back to 30 yards. He loosens the bolt and moves that dot up to where that arrow's impacting at 30 yards. Now, to avoid confusion, at 30 and 40 yards with the middle and bottom dot, he's still aligning the top dot with the tip of the triangle for his form reference. Those other two dots fall where they are and become his shot placement. So he's not dropping anchor to get those top dots to, or the bottom dots to float up to the triangle. Make sure he's not confused there because that will definitely throw a shot off. He's just top dot, tip of the triangle every time. And then and that's it. It is a three-step process and it's that simple. 